This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Microcap Rodeo 2019 in Austin, Texas. With me right now is David Arthur from Solarius Pharmaceuticals. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is SLRX. David, welcome to SNN Live. Robert, thank you for having us. It's great to be here. It's great to have you. So for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Absolutely. Solarius is an oncology-based biotechnology company developing drugs for patients who need them the most. We're located here in Texas, um, down in Houston at the J-Labs uh, Innovation Center. So let's get a history of the company. When did it start and how did it develop to where it's currently at today? Well, thanks, Robert. The, the Solari story is a great story. Uh, founded in 2011 with technology from the University of Utah, it's uh, developed to the point now where we are in the clinic uh, learning how to best use our lead medicine, Cyclodemstat, to help patients fight devastating cancers, such as Ewing sarcoma, a rare pediatric bone cancer, and other cancers that we're all familiar with, prostate, breast, ovarian, colorectal, melanoma. All of these areas are where patients desperately need new therapies. So before I get into what, what's unique about Solarius, I'm curious, what's the main target indication that the company is working on to start? Well, that's part of the story that I'm really excited about. Our lead indication is Ewing sarcoma, which is a devastating pediatric bone cancer where currently there are no targeted therapies approved. So unfortunately, these, these children and adolescents who have their whole lives ahead of them um, are forced to utilize treatment options such as adult chemotherapy, radiation, surgeries that are often disfiguring. And you can just imagine what this does to the kids and also their long-term developmental issues. So the opportunity to develop less toxic treatments that are not chemotherapy related um, is really exciting. And, and I say this every time I, I have a chance to go on camera. You know, we get to wake up every morning at Solarius and come in and we take the fight to cancer. It's a great way to spend your day. So, so my next question is, is, where exactly are we in the clinic with Solarius? Well, Robert, we have uh, uh, really advanced the company over the past few years. And last year, we received FDA approval to begin human testing, which means we've, we've already met all the requirements that the FDA sets in place to make sure that we can um, begin using our drug with humans. We now have two active clinical studies. The first one is in Ewing sarcoma, as we, we touched on briefly, and, and these are patients who have already been treated with uh, you know, the available ther adult therapies and have either relapsed or their de disease is progressing. So we're really, we're really go trying to help patients who need, n need new therapies the most. Um, we have eight sites around the world, including MD Anderson here in Houston, Dana-Farber in Boston, Memorial Sloan Kettering in in New York, Nationwide Children's in Ohio, uh, Moffitt Cancer Center, and John Hopkins All Children's down in Tampa. And then out on the West Coast, we have Los Angeles County Children's and Sarcoma Center. I mean, there's a lot of excitement about what we're doing in Ewing Sarcoma. And then, as I mentioned, in addition, we are also uh, active in the clinic treating patients with uh, uh, other types of advanced solid tumors, such as breast, ovarian, prostate, uh, colorectal. And, and again, these are all patients who have not achieved what they want to achieve with currently available treatments and are looking for new therapies. So for those who may not know, and for my edification as well, is Ewing sarcoma considered an, an orphan de designation right now? Oh, it is. Ewing sarcoma is a, is a rare pediatric disease. And in fact, the FDA has already granted Cyclodemstat orphan drug status and they have designated the Ewing sarcoma um, indication and our product with the rare pediatric disease designation, which is the precursor for ultimately receiving a priority review voucher if Cyclodemstat is approved. And if you're not familiar with the voucher, this is a phenomenal program offered by the government to help incentivize companies like Solarius to pursue these rare pediatric illnesses. And, and if approved, when we receive the voucher, those vouchers are currently selling for about $100 million. So it's a, uh, it's a real incentive, a incentive for us to continue moving this drug forward. And what's your background? I mean, how'd you come into all this? Well, um, I'm a big pharma guy. So I spent my career with Eli Lilly and Boehringer Ingelheim. And uh, after about 22 years, 
I really wanted to get into the biotech space, uh, which is where all the excitement is, and where you can really make a difference. You know, as I said earlier, we, we come to work every day and we're able to take the fight to cancer, and, and if we're successful, we're really going to make a difference in the lives of these, uh, these patients and their families. Now, you touched earlier on, you know, so what's happening? Well, we're already in the clinic, and what's really exciting, in addition to all the things that are happening today, we can talk about that in a minute, but next year, we're going to be in a position to begin reporting on early safety and efficacy data from both of these studies. And that's, that's where things really start to get exciting. Well, let's learn a little bit more about that. So from what you can tell us, what can our audience expect then from the company for the rest of 2019 going into 2020? Well, there's, there's, there's a lot to talk about. Um, I mean, let's, time. Yeah, let, let's just recap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, we are the recipient of almost $19 million in uh, support from the Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas, and that's two-for-one matching funds. In fact, that's the reason our company is located here in Texas. We were, we were recruited away from the state of Connecticut and Utah. Uh, we get tremendous support from the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation, who is paying for a large portion of our Ewing sarcoma trial. We just recently announced a partnership with the Ivy Brain Cancer Center in Phoenix, Arizona to develop Solarius for glioblastoma, which is just a devastating brain cancer in kids. And, and, and that's a program funded by the, the Ivy Brain Cancer Institute. And all that is going on right now. But what's exciting is we have, uh, we have shared with, with people that in early 2020, we plan to achieve what is called maximum tolerated dose in our dose escalation studies, both of them. And that's where we're able to determine what is the dose we want to use to treat patients with these devastating diseases. Once we have that dose, we will then enter what's called a dose expansion phase. And that's where we add more patients to the study to collect longer term data. And that's where we can begin to get a, a peak at efficacy. And David, another question that I have for you is, what, what would you say makes Solarius unique and different compared to some of your peers out there? Well, that's a great question. And, and fundamentally, that's, that's at the heart of, of biotechnology. Why are you, you different and, and I believe better? So epigenetics is a very hot space right now. And within epigenetics, which is the regulation of uh, gene expression. And these, these pathways become dysregulated. So within this very hot space, uh, there's an enzyme called LSD1 where uh, many companies are developing drugs to inhibit that enzyme and ultimately treat cancer. So we are one of these drugs in a hot space, in a hot class, but we are a reversible inhibitor, which means we have a slightly different binding location and therefore we ultimately believe we'll have an improved safety profile, which obviously we're exploring in our clinical studies, but we also believe we have differential activity, which is going to give us efficacy in a multitude of cancer types. So we're a differentiated product in a very hot space. Two, we have um, tremendous non-dilutive funding. I touched on earlier, $19 million from the state of Texas and support from the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. And, and that is all tremendous news. But what's really exciting is over the past year, there have been a number of third-party publications that are beginning to uh, demonstrate the potential for immunotherapy activity from epigenetic drugs and specifically LSD1 inhibitors, and in some cases, our lead drug, Cyclodemstat. So in addition to everything we have ongoing, a new area for us that we're rapidly exploring and trying to develop is the fact that we're not a chemotherapy agent. We are not a chemotoxic agent. We are a tablet with the potential to take tumors that are cold and not rep recognized by the body and turn them hot so that other drugs in the body can now attack them. I mean, it's, this is an exciting time for, for Solarius and it's an exciting time for patients. And where can our audience go and find more information about Solarius? Well, we have a website. And you can go to solariuspharma.com, and I would encourage you to. Uh, we have some great information, some excellent patient videos, and a, a very informative corporate presentation. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we are at the Microcap Rodeo 2019 in Austin, Texas. With me again has been David Arthur from Solarius Pharmaceuticals. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is SLRX. David, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Robert. Thanks for having us. Best of luck.